hello and welcome to the channel once again the name is guru boy on this tutorial i'm going to show you how to remove google account lock on your zwami mi 10t so without wasting my time let's head over to the phone and begin the procedure so when you try to set up your device you'll be prompt you should sign into the device with your previous google account which you don't know so without wasting my time let's proceed by connecting the phone to the wi-fi network so we have to connect to a wi-fi network in some point you may be needing the internet connection so first i'll be connecting to my wi-fi network and also to show you this device is being locked on google account or, or being stuck on google account so first i'll be connecting to the wi-fi network so if your wi-fi network do you have password you have to provide the password of your wi-fi network so i'll be fast forwarding this part till i get to the google sign in screen so let's forward this video So from here, so if you do not remember your Google account, then you can proceed or continue watching this video. So here we need to inject the same tray out. So you need the same injector and also you need the same card which has pin code on it. So this same right over here has same pin on it. So when you do insert the same card into the phone, you will be prompt to input the same thing before we can use the same so right over here you see you see you should input the same thing now you get your same card from the phone just inject the same card just like this and you have this many uh, lock screen now pull down the notification and you have the notification bell on the right corner click on it in your notification control center go in and click on control center star now choose the first star so when you click on the first star move back let's make sure the first star is being selected so let's make sure the first star is being selected now from here just input the same card back into the phone so input the same sim card back into the phone you'll be prompt to input the pin of the sim card just remove the sim card from the from the phone so now pull down your notification panel and you will now have settings on the right corner click on it and it will take you to your settings app now in the search box now let's search for second space so when you so when you are even typing it will suggest it in the suggesting list now turn on second space and wait for the configuration so switching to second space you will face uh, your, your screen will even go black or you have a blinking screen which is normal or okay so all you have to do is to reboot your device so when your phone is done rebooting all you have to do is to just repeat repeat the steps once again by inserting the same card into the phone once again so let's do it by inserting the same card into the phone and when we are being prompt to input the same pin we have to inject the same card just pull the same card out of the phone and now pull down the notification panel hit on setting then in settings just set for uh, second space and then click on second space get into second space and wait for it to switch into your second space and for this time you will not have any blinking screen and if you do have any blinking screen you just have to repeat the procedure once again and now let's go in for the second one which is use shortcut click skip and next and then from here click skip so wait for it to finish configuring your second space and then that's it so here all you have to do is to just hit on the switch up and then in settings just type in second space once again and 
click on it and this time it will take you straight forward to your second space and that's it so this time it will take you to your second space just wait for it to take you into your second space and now that's it so let's reboot our device so now let's reboot our device so i'll be fast forwarding this part so you do not necessarily need internet connection you only need internet connection if you do remember your google account so you can sign in and then proceed so now we are in the phone and when you go into settings about phone so you do have the miui version 13 and also running on android 12 right over here so you just see the under 12 clock right over here and that's it so this is how to unlock your mi 10t thanks for watching peace